so hello guys welcome this is a cargo control room in a chemical tanker here i'll be showing you all the items and equipments which are there in ccr except for these two framo panel and lodicator because both of these cannot be explained in this single video so for framo panel i have already made a video and for lodicator i'll make a video later let's start so this over here is a cargo control panel and that over there which you see is a framo panel that's for framo pump so if on your ships normally on chemical and oil tanker you will have framo pumps so for that there is a framo panel that over there is a lodicator on which normally it's your officer like and this is normal it's a normal computer for printouts and something else that's a standalone computer so this is how your ccr looks like there is another standalone computers for crew for their isf and all so this is all about it that's how your a normal ccr would look like sometime you might have a partition in the ccr sometime you might have a, another ship's office but this is a combined room so this over here is the gas detectors so normally these gas detectors are kept in ccr only so those were the gas detectors so now i will explain you about this cargo control panel so example i will take this one particular panel for example this 10 port the top part of it is showing level that means allege so 12.253 that's the allege of that tank as you can see 12.253 and now as you can see in bottom we have written 12.253 that means this tank is empty so that is it now this is the temperature as you can see upper 28 degree lower 27 degree so this is in degree celsius so normally on all ships you will find this in degree celsius and so below here is a pressure tab where you now you are seeing is minus 0.5 that means the tank is in vacuum and if you do not see the minus sign that means the tank is having positive pressure for positive pressure you won't see a plus symbol yes but for a negative pressure you would see minus sign so that is for pressure and as you see over here that's written in kpa kilopascal so below the pressure tab here you have high level and overfill alarm but remember this is independent high level and overfill alarm that means these values for high level and overfill alarm they cannot be changed so if a tank fills up to 95 percent you will have this alarm if a tank fills up to 98 percent you will have this overfill alarm so these value cannot be changed so below here now you have high pressure low pressure high temperature low temperature and then again high level and low level these all high pressure temperature and level these all values can be changed and only the high level and overfill values they cannot be changed they are fixed values so just to make you more familiarized with the cargo panels i will show you another panel also so here we can see in nine starboard cargo tank here we can see the alleges 3.040 that means there is cargo inside the tank as we have seen in the case of 10 port where the allege was 12.25 that means that tank was almost empty or near to empty but now here you can see the alleges is a little bit changing over here and there because as our cargo is liquid so if the cargo changes if the cargo moves ups and down so of course the our alleges will change so that's why the alleges is changing now here you can see the pressure over here is 0.1 kpa that means the tank is in positive pressure if there is no sign of minus like as we have seen earlier there was minus now here the, there is no sign of minus that means the tank is in positive pressure this pretty much sums up your uh, cargo panel so rest all we'll go much more in deep in our next video when we will talk about loading and discharging so this is the cargo panel which i was telling for each cargo tank you will have single single cargo panels over here and this is what we monitor in our cargo operations so now we'll see other items inside ccr so this is odme this is n2 generator panel which we used when which we monitor when we use nitrogen so this over here is a framo panel for which i have already made a separate video you can watch that so next we will see vhf which is there in all ccrs and sometime it is used as primary means of communication and sometime used as secondary means of communication with the terminal so one important thing about vhf is that it is to be kept at low watt or 1 watt as we say before starting the cargo operations so now i will show you how to put a vhf on low watt so here on vhs screen you can see near the output uh, beside it it's written 25 watt so now it is on high power so to make it on uh, low power there is a button 25 slash 1 watt we'll press this 
and now you can see beside output it is on what what so this is what we have to do in cargo operation make sure it is at one watt so the next important equipment which is there in a cargo control room on each tanker ship is wind indicator so this is an analog one where you can see the left side of the screen is showing the direction of wind and on the right side of the screen it is showing speed of the wind so next i will show you ship show safety checklist why what does they say about vhf and why we require any more meter in cc so guys you can see this is it is got sixth edition ship show safety checklist so all your company checklist will be similar to this checklist this is the latest edition he, here you can see uh that point number 22 very high frequency and ultra high frequency trans receiver are set to low power mode so basically all uh, gmds equipment will be sh switched off except for set c and vhf ais will be set to low power so because of this we are setting uh, vhf to low power and then here in also this uh, checklist you can see this maximum wind current and swell sea swell criteria so here we would write uh, in shift show safety checklist we would write make at what make wind speed we have to we will stop the cargo operation at what wind speed we will disconnect those hoses and at what wind speed we will unberth so normally between uh, wind force six we will stop the cargo operation at seven we disconnect and at the seven at same time we unberth also so normally but it depends upon your company to company you can refer to your company manual at what wind speed they tell you to unberth disconnect and stop cargo transfer operation so that's why we have any meter inside ccr so guys with this we'll finish our ccr familiarization part one where i've shown you items equipments which are there in your ccr so if you go on any ship you will find these items it might just happen that you might have a higher version or advanced version or from a different maker or different model will be there but the following items will be there in your ccr so in the next part of ccr familiarization i will show you various ccrs where the loading and discharging walls are operated from ccr so those are little bit higher or advanced version so those things we'll see in ccr part 2